My name is Nicholas Sean Osborne, and if you don't pay attention to me, you're girl well. Yeah. Notice how everybody shut the fuck up and looked at me. That's the easiest way to get to a guy. What the fuck did you say about her? I'm a creeper on Facebook. We're not really, you know, together, but eventually. <laughs> so, just, uh... Bronsons have moved up to $4.19 now, and that upsets me, and I thought at first they didn't want to move up to $4.20 because they realized that their uh, smokers would smoke pot. Then I realized that the average person that smokes Bronsons she generally smokes crack. I haven't gotten to the crack part yet, but I'm about four Kendrick Lamar songs away. <laughs> I swear to God. And you know, uh, they used to be four oh nine. That was a big deal of mine. Bronsons are four dollars nine cents. <laughs> Poor people. Which is essentially the joke. And now that they're four nineteen, I'm I'm struggling and I'm struggling. And I have to say, Brexit has affected us all in some way. <laughs> I'm American, they're all fucking saying, let's just deal with it. They only have food outside of the French and the Italians. The other countries <laughs> used to be commie, and so I ignore them in my textbooks. So they've been talking about it. Texas. Texas wants to secede. Texit is what they're calling that. It's like a better word. I could go with fuck it. Because if Texas secedes, worse things have happened. <laughs> I'm gonna let them know. Texas. You ever been to Houston? You ever driven with those fucking maniacs? The South has a reputation for being nice. Houston is its own country. You have to drive like you're about to murder someone. Like you're driving to your ex's house. Listening to Drake related to O.J. Simpson. I think it would have been worse if Drake was... If O.J. Simpson was listening to Drake on that drive, by the way. I got my eyes on you oh. And everything that I see I've got this one love and devotion oh. For the first trial <laughs> <laughs> Alright So <laughs> Is, Was OJ Simpson sent to save us all? <laughs> Did we make a mistake? <laughs> Alright, I've forgiven Michael Vick I'll forgive any good athlete at this point <laughs> If OJ was playing for the Patriots right now, he could do what the fuck he wanted. <laughs> uh, and if you want to talk about offending people based off of things you like, never walk into Subway and say, I'm here to support Jared. Oh. And give me a six inch. <laughs> and like, we don't, we don't, we don't, I'm like, one inch. <laughs> I don't support Jared. It's just funny to fuck with minimum wage workers. And I voted for Bernie Sanders, but every single time one of those minimum wage motherfuckers fucks up my meal, I'm about to vote for Trump. Oh. That's me as a person, and I'm a terrible person, but every time they leave one thing out, I'm like, that's fucking it. That is it. We're building the wall. Goodbye, Taco Plano. Hey! And I circle around and tell them. Like, my name's Kyle. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Mexicans don't make Taco Bell, and I think that's the problem with Taco Bell. Mm. It's true. They can do everything better than I can. So I'm opening a restaurant. So I've been, um, I haven't paid for it. So I've been on unemployment for a while. Kind of. I've been working, but I haven't paid. So now I absolutely understand the meaning of naked and afraid. Because I spent a lot more time in the shower just leaning against it, listening to old Morrissey. <laughs> And I thought about it, and I'm ready for that show because I've been poor for a long time. Naked and afraid ain't shit to me. I'm going to eat a snake. I've seen a snake. I go camping. Not often. Look at the skin tone. No, I'm a ginger. We don't belong there. Poolside time for gingers is like midnight. The water's still warm in this fucked up state. And sometimes we'll catch a sunburn from the moon. True story. But naked and afraid, I feel like my problem is, like, I'm willing to fuck a pillow after a few hours if my phone's dead. So like naked and afraid you can put anyone next to me and it would just be the whole, I think 13 days. Just like, hey. We don't have alcohol, but you know, after 13 days your standards slip after a while. Hey. Hey. I mean, Adam was fucking Eve and he seemed like a great guy, but she still went for the snake with the apple. Uh, it's 
like a dick joke. Sometimes apples look like asses. I don't know. <laughs> Put it together. I used to be a part of, uh, this is a really turbulent time right now, and I used to be a part of an organization called Anti-Fascist Action and Anti-Racist Action, which uh, back then, in the mid-2000s, was a big deal. We dealt with a lot of racism. There was a lot of fights. They're just young dudes looking for a reason to fight each other. And maybe I'm jaded now, but I see the fight everyone's going through where they're making up reasons to be offended. And I often thought about if I would have taken one of those young scallions with his tumbler into under my wing in the AFA days, like if he'd be willing to fight neo-Nazis. And I see these kids, and honestly, all I can think of is they look at some dude with a swastika on his throat like, no, no, man, I didn't sign up for this. I heard David was a white dude with dreadlocks who needed his privilege check. I'm out, fuck AFA. <laughs> it's for you, New York. Prominent AFA community. <laughs> so uh, my last bit, I love, I love animals, I really do. Um, I rescued a squirrel for a while, it was the best friend I ever had. And I thought, I want to buy a wallaby, but mostly to piss off Republicans. Let me explain that, let me explain that. <laughs> because a wallaby seems like the best friend. Everyone brings a dog in this bar, lacking a personality that can't grow a beard trying to pick up women. And I get it, I get it. Everyone loves a dog. So I want to take the next step. I want to bring a wallaby hopping in here. And the reason why is I realized that wallabies have pouches, which are the best places for guns and cocaine. And last I checked, and I checked, there is no more Supial Defense Act preventing them from owning narcotics and firearms. <laughs> and I just want to deal with the turbulent times that the Republicans are dealing with now. I just want a sheriff to stop me, search him, that's not mine, officer, but are you really going to try to keep a wallaby? Australian American from defending himself against the Syrian invasion? My name is Nicholas Osborne, have a great night.